Hey everybody, this is Lisa. And I'm Chris. And welcome to our Wednesday fashion show. So what we're going to do right now is take a look through. You're so formal. I know. Look at here. We watched Wednesday on Netflix and we liked it, but it was cute and then crochet in it. So we're going to talk about it. All right. <laughs> That's what we're doing. <laughs> It's just, just say hi. <laughs> I get nervous. She's so nervous on camera. I'm like, honey, it's been a year. I know. <laughs> like, I know. Let's just get her done. All right, here we go. Oh, yes, this mm -hmm. one. Mm -hmm. Oh, there we go. See, now we're a little. <laughs> oh, <that's bad. laughs> I can't even do it with you right now. Okay. So, the first look. Actually, comes very. These are not chronological. No, I would think uh, chronological. I, I know just... you would, because you know. <laughs> this is like one of the last scenes. In the show. Yeah, but I, I kind of love these pieces. I I really love the collar and cuffs. Okay. And it sort of reflects her journey. Okay. You know, she's a little bit more open than she was at the start she of things. She got a black sweater on up to her neck. But right. I'm not getting open from but this. But the is collar, it the lace work? yeah, it's it's open work. None of her other collars are like that. Okay. And she's fairly buttoned up. Armored. Mm -hmm. But I thought this was a really fun little piece. And those are crochet? Yes. The ones in the movie. Yeah, they're show. crochet. I actually didn't notice the, the cuffs until I saw the picture. I only saw the collar when I was watching the show. Oh, no. I, but I was actually watching the show, too, so I didn't, maybe didn't notice all the details. Yeah, yeah. Um, but... I think it's fun. I think it's cute. I think, I don't know. I, maybe it's just because of the way Wednesday dresses. It doesn't come across as old fashioned because by this point, like I said, this is the last scene. By the time you get here, like you just kind of accept Wednesday on our own terms. Exactly. <laughs> and it doesn't, no, none of what she wears feels old fashioned. Everything has a nice freshness to it, you know? And I think this would be a, a nice piece that you could make that's detachable. You can add on to whatever. You wanted to wear it with because Peter Pan collars have been a thing in yeah. crochet for a minute, and I don't like them. Me I, neither. I, never I like, like them. this a lot better. I feel like I would do this before I did mm -hmm. the crochet Peter Pan collar, but I never even thought of the matching cuffs. That's yeah, super cute. that makes it that makes it for me. Yeah, and put a big old like decorative button on it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Wednesday. I think you just got an idea. Didn't I you? know, right? <laughs> Use a very small amount of yarn. Mm. It would be got, a great for us. Stash buster potential. Yep. Shall I move on to the you next like slide? It. I don't remember this one in the show. Yeah, I like this, this is one. not a hand knit. It's not a hand knit, but it could be. What I did like about it is you can't see the back because I couldn't find any good pictures of the back. But it's actually the sailor bib, the the sailor flap in oh. the back. So there's a black sailor flap that comes to a point where that little bow is. And I thought that I, was a really fun detail. You could just detail. make the, the flap and collar and toss it over something else, just like the, the lace collar. Absolutely. And again, stash buster potential. Absolutely. So I, I'm actually kind of digging it. I feel like I'm, I'm it's seeding ideas. I, I was just telling Lisa right before we started recording that these companies are still so slow to react and they're still like terrified of social media. So Netflix has not really taken advantage of the fact that the, the knitwear and the crochet and the show has kind of taken off. Mm -hmm. And what I would have done is, you know, tasked an intern with finding pictures from the set and put these out online so people can see them because people are very enthusiastic about, about making them. them. But they're slow things. They just have not I mean, modernized. Even take an example from Project Runway. Think about how you can buy sewing patterns based on what they came up with on the show. If you want to buy ready to wear, well, yeah, now you the can same buy night that you exactly. saw it, you can buy it. So it's just disappointing that we don't have better pictures. Mm -hmm. But what I like about this piece, though, is I like that wider band at the bottom, mm -hmm. and it kind of balances the flap, you know. And I like that it's a slightly cropped top. It's cute. Now, no. this one. 
I it's like been the talk piece. of the internet. Apparently, there is some debate online about whether it is ethical to make your own version based on a photo. There is nothing in copyright law that prevents you from making something that you see. You you really just can't say I designed it. Right. But yeah, you can look at a picture and make your own version. That's a thing that's been a thing for a very long time. Forever. But um, this designer, their uh, Instagram handle is Skelton John. And I don't know if this is the actual one that appeared in the, the movie. I don't think it was like made for the movie. I, I, I think somehow this, the designer made it for someone else. And I think somehow her version ended up in the movie. Maybe yeah. I'm not exactly clear on those details, but this is um, tapestry crochet. So if you see a, like a bigger picture, you can see the, the white threads underneath the black one, yeah, you know, as kind of running along, mm -hmm. um, which is the thing I don't like about tapestry crochet, but maybe if you do it at a finer gauge, it's, it's not as obvious because this is probably worse at weight. Yeah. I could see it in the, actually in the show. In the show, yeah. You could see it. And it was, it's fairly chunky stitching. Yeah. yeah. But I, I think it's all just single crochet. Um, this would be very easy. I have an idea for a version of it. And I think it's actually double crochet in the picture. Probably um, not if you do. I don't know if people are doing double crochet with um, tapestry crochet, but uh, okay. um, probably not. But I, I, what I liked about Wednesday's wardrobe is that all the ways they found to combine black and white. Working she's with very limited, committed to her, her color scheme. Working with that limited palette, and they still came up with something with things that felt fresh every time you saw something. Now this was very oversized, and when she was wearing it, you know, she had a, a jacket over it, and you could see the um. Like there's extra fabric. Mm -hmm. I would not make mine that oversized. This, yeah. yeah, but it's cute. Yeah, I I love this patterning. Yeah, I like it's all stripes, right? Mm -hmm. But there's checkerboard stripes and solid stripes, and I just thought that was this. I paused the show and photographed. Yeah, when I was watching the show because this, I was like, oh, but wait, can we talk about this vest she's wearing? Yes, like there was yes. other stuff going on. <laughs> But I was like, hold up, Netflix. <laughs> we got to think about this best. <laughs> I really like that. Yeah, this this one stopped me in my tracks. And I immediately was like, yeah, I want to make something like this. I think I even know what yarn I would use because I ain't going to buy no yarn. But <laughs> I don't know about any more yarn. But yeah, and this then, one. Thinking about whatever your colors are, I could see this in an array of color schemes. And your checkerboard doesn't have to have the same color as a stripe. So you could do black stripe, but then do red and white checkerboard or something. Exactly. And you could throw in a, like a variegated in there for a part of that checkerboard design. There's like a, a lot of different ways you could play with the placement of color. I see you've been thinking about this. Maybe a little bit. <laughs> Maybe just a teeny tiny bit, but I love it. Yeah, me too, actually. This one is another favorite of mine. Yeah, this is another one. It's hard to get a good picture. Yeah. I Let me tell you, I spent so much time looking for good pictures of this. And I settled on this one because it was dark where in yeah. this particular scene. So there are no good pictures of it. But I absolutely loved how they mirror imaged. Both, if you look at it, I it's mirror image. Back and forth on that. Because like the collar is, is two different yeah. colors. And then each sleeve cuff, I believe, is different colors. And I wasn't sure I liked that. I went back and forth on that. Now, the more I saw it, the more I liked it. And I but liked... I just love the big, big, bold graphic yeah. checkerboard. Yeah. And I like the angles that they were able to create. in it. So it wasn't just a straight up checkerboard. It, it kind of gave me... it. It reminded me of Wednesday's character in that she's very straight laced but quirky. I like the scale. Yeah. I like just making those checks really, really big. This is another one that gave me some ideas. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, everyone was has been doing um 
like a, a checkerboard type of thing inspired by that Harry Styles cardigan. Right. And it's hideous. Yeah. <laughs> the original cardigan is a nightmare. And a lot of the versions people, some people have fixed it up and yeah, made nicer made versions, nicer but versions. a lot of people have really leaned into that ugly aesthetic. And this is just a much more tasteful version of oversized checks that I, I like. You could even do it with multiple colors, but it's just a bit more polished and refined. I, th I think so. But I not specifically so. because it's knitting, because crocheters could make a nice refined polished version too. There's mm -hmm. no reason not to. <laughs> None whatsoever. But yeah, this was another one that I noticed as I was watching the show. Now, compared to the others, this is the plainest one. Mm -hmm. But what I liked about it was how they styled it. You know, with that slight stripe on the sleeves. And again, this is a much more fit contemporary is, yeah. outfit for her. I mean, it's not like the, the really long skirts. And mm -hmm. She still has a very high neckline, though. But she's wearing like a bomber jacket. This, this kind of brings her forward a little bit. But again... They're just playing with the, the sizes of these checkerboards. And I like this one, too. Mm. And I like that she had a lot of sweater vests. I felt like that was a change from just, like, big oversized sweaters. Yeah. Um, I, I like that they leaned into the whole sleeveless thing and then layered. Mm -hmm. um, so I did like how they styled them. Let's see what's next. Oh, yes, the socks. I didn't notice any socks. I in noticed the, show, the socks. But you're a sock maker, yeah. so. Yeah, I was like, but what I like about these socks is that it was understated. You have those three white stripes, mm -hmm. and that's it, because you got this big, crazy shoe, but, you know. <laughs> but if you don't do socks, you could do a leg warmer with Absolutely. that same look. A oh. leg warmer, a boot cuff. Even um, arm warmers, oh, yes, with just a little fun. stripes at the wrist to match your leg warmers. Now I have an idea. Oh, oh. no! Oh no! Wednesday! <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> Wednesday is working overtime for you. <laughs> but I like that idea, right? right? Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And the snooze. The snooze again. You couldn't really find good pictures, but um, I just opened an email from a, yarn, a local yarn store called Balzac and Company that's in um, Ocean Grove. And he has a um, link to a pattern for the, the Enid Snoop. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, I think the designer's name is Ashley Parker. Um, and I believe that is a free pattern. I think so. Yeah. So, I, I mean, I don't know that you need a pattern. I think it's just double crochet. I, you could do it in a round. You could... Uh, make it flat and then join it. But it's a cute, fun thing. I think mm -hmm. I think the, the women in the show wore it well. It, it looked they good did. on them. They did. Because it was it was odd. And but I love yeah. that Enid made one in black. Yes. For, <laughs> she didn't try to make uh, at Wednesday wear the Her style, thing. right. Right. <laughs> and it was, it was a very thoughtful gift, I thought. <laughs> Even Wednesday couldn't hurt her feelings over it. She was like, you know, I'm going to have to find a really special occasion to wear this. <laughs> really special. But I, I can see me doing the snoo. Why not? Especially when those cold winds start to blow. What? So I also collected some of Enid's looks because they were the polar opposite of Wednesday. Oh, a little bit. But again, another sweater vest. Yes. I, I'm digging it. This is making me think. It just no sleeves. <laughs> no sleeves. No time spent on sleeve violence. Okay. Now, I happen to love this fluffy jacket that she's wearing because I could see doing it. Um, remember that fluffy yarn that we had, the big mm -hmm. fluffster one? That would be very easy to do. A lot of people were doing... Um, bomber jackets out yes. of sulfur and i like that this is shaped differently i like the i don't know if you can really see it in the picture but the collar is a little bit oversized yes and i like that as well and i think the bottom is slightly rounded as it comes mm -hmm. around the front it's not squared off so yeah i you know what i wouldn't have put the pieces together the way enid did but the individual pieces she wore i i did like quite a few of them mm -hmm. Now, this is actually my favorite Enid sweater. 
it's reminding me of this cartoon called Gravity Falls. The it's about a brother and sister who spend the summer in in a town called Gravity Falls that has all these weird mysteries going on. And in every episode, the sister wore a different. She wore the same style turtleneck sweater, but oh. she wore a different sweater that she knit herself. And there was usually like a little center design or something really cute happening on the front of the sweater. And they're her in the cartoon. They're not quite as elaborate as this, mm -hmm. but. She's been very at home in Gravity Falls. Absolutely. <laughs> what I liked was how they placed the hearts. It's hard to see in this picture, but there's three hearts going across the front of the sweater. And then down the sleeve. And, and then down the sleeve, but there's none on the back. And the hearts are a different texture than the background yarn. So I could see doing that in a self-striping yarn as the background color. Baroque Pixel, maybe. Baroque Pixel or Baroque Wizard. And then... I wouldn't even intarsia those hearts in. I would um, duplicate, duplicate stitch. stitch them or cross stitch them to get that more textured feel. That's another thing I want to do, cross stitch on my crochet, but I'm like, is that crazy? No, I cross stitch on a little and crochet like, piece and it, it's actually easier to Am I double crafting? No. <laughs> it's actually easier I'm to cross stitch crafting on my craft. On crochet than on knitting because if you do it on a single crochet background, mm -hmm. it's a square. Yeah. And That's what I was thinking. For, for cross stitch, but I would cross stitch those on. So I might end up with an Union Heart sweater sometime next year because right. I love this sweater. They should put out like a, if not even patterns, they should put out like a photo book mm -hmm. or something. It, just something like an ebook you could download, just showing the styles because I feel like they're um, the well, show stylist killed it. Yeah, whoever put the costumes together on this show. They did. They killed it. And I, this is only, I focus on the knitwear options, but all the costumes were banging. They were wonderful. So, catch up, Netflix. Catch up. And this is Enid's stripey pullover. As you can see, she has a theme. She wears a lot of stripes and patterns and florals. She's actually wearing this over a floral dress in the same tones. But I really liked the neckline in particular. I realize on how this dark sweater. this show. The whole thing is dark. <laughs> this is the literally the brightest picture <laughs> I could find of this sweater. And thank goodness it's such light colors. Okay. <laughs> but I absolutely love the sweater. And this is her. She also has a slightly oversized aesthetic. So if you notice, everything that she's worn except for that vest was slightly oversized. I like stripes because they are the easiest color to mm -hmm. do and these stripes in particular look like shelf striping yarn so it's even easier you just let the yarn do the work for you and again not a hand knit but they're just like so readily adaptable i mean this mm -hmm. is a basic drop shoulder sweater exactly just boom done so if you have made a sweater before you just need to choose the the yarn colors you like mm-hmm and then once you map your own color palette onto it, because you don't have to make it in these colors. Matter of fact, I was just thinking the other day, if you have trouble seeing something in a different color other than the color you saw it in, just take a picture of it on the phone and switch over to the, your mono filter. And you can see it in black and white. And then you can impose whatever color scheme and you want her onto it. neckline is also straight. Yes, There's three little colors in the neckline, which I think is just a cute detail. Yeah, and the cuffs are done similarly. As you see, I've been staring at this sweater I for a see. little while myself. <laughs> but I, I have been enchanted by the fashion choices in Wednesday. So if you get a chance, do take a look at Wednesday on Netflix. The, the clothes were really, really fun. And I will include a link to the, the show and um, a couple of the articles I pull these pictures from. What are you thinking? Can you see something with that? It, stripes are my thing. Mm -hmm. I like kind of, I try to not do stripes too often because honestly, if I did, I wouldn't do any other kind of work. <laughs> But I'm always down for a striped sweater because I like to play with the widths of my stripes. Yes. So like what when, when I did the um the hard currency dress, my stripes were all what were three different sizes and placed, you know, kind of irregularly. Mm -hmm. And I really like the effect that I got. So 
what I'm doing when I think about stripes, I'm thinking about different ways to arrange them. So it's not just, you know, A and B, A and B, A and B. Right. So this is just another cute version. And I think that is it for our Wednesday fashion show. I think you're done. Yeah. I'm done. So thank you for joining us. And if you have a show in mind that has a lot of like knitting or crochet that you, you'd like us to take a look at, you know, drop it in the comments. Oh, yeah, absolutely. If we have that streaming service. <laughs> we'll take a look at it. <laughs> Anyway, that is it. See you guys next Friday for another Friday shenanigans. Stay stitching. <laughs>